Hey guys, Spencer Z1. Thanks for joining us again this week. We're going to talk tech on Boost League testers. Get a lot of tech calls on um, my car's not running right, it's breaking up, it's smoking, it's not boosting, it is boosting right, but it just doesn't have the power. Um, frequently, daily, we get these calls. Uh, don't be surprised if you've called. We've asked you, have you done a Boost League test? Because if you called, that's what we're going to ask you. It's the first thing we would do. It's the second thing we do. It's the third thing we would do until we were sure we didn't have boost leaks. So uh, these boost leak testers will come optional with or without a gauge. If you had dual inlets, you could maybe get one with a gauge, one without. If your car still has a PCV, PVC system hooked up, we generally would not boost over 10 PSI uh, because you will pressurize the crankcase. If all that's been vented atmosphere and, uh, and, and blocked off to where you're not pressurizing crankcase, that you could do a boost leak test with the oil cap off, you can boost leak test to quite a bit higher. Uh, generally with, with safe uh, results. So uh, you, you saw in the video of our guys in the shop, you, you may have noticed that they had a, a hose uh, attached to their tester. Uh, conventionally, they will come with a Schrader valve installed, like a tire, for a tire chuck. The larger the volume on the system, though, that is uh, time-consuming to get them to fill up, so our guys here will pass a hose. Uh, well, they'll remove the valve core, and they will pass a hose over the, the Schrader's housing, zip-tie it, run it straight to a blowgun on shop air, and zip tie there with a little bit of room to work around. Uh, saves some some time, uh, makes you more efficient if you're if you're worried about that. So, um, you guys have questions? Give us a call. Otherwise, we'll keep these things available daily, ready to ship, and uh, you know get your Z running right. Loosely test it.